movie did we see today, guys? Uh, the Lego 2V. We did see the Lego 2V. That's the title it should have been. Because... They missed an opportunity. Yeah, missed opportunity. Probably. I disagree, actually. I think the second part is genius. Oh, yeah. It reminds me. Of... It's very, um, it's like, fun. Spaceballs, the quest for more money is yeah. esque. <laughs> Perfect. Where, like, they make that good joke. I and it's want like, that that's sequel. I do, that's... too. I still want Spaceballs 2 to search for more money. there's so much more you could parody now. You know? 100%. Especially, yeah, yeah, nowadays. Oh, my God. It'd probably be the time. first parody sequel, too, which is pretty fun. But Lego Movie 2 came out in theaters just now. Oh my god, what did you guys think? We're gonna I'll talk about what we didn't like first. Negatives first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. General consensus, it. I think we liked it. Yeah. I can't think of anything. I've seen this twice now. I saw it Thursday night premiere and now Saturday with you guys. I cannot think of anything I did not like in this movie. Oh, there's some nitpicky stuff, really. Uh, Ian, you can rant because I have nothing negative to say about wow, this movie. Wow, okay. Uh, I'm not a child, so I didn't like a lot of the song numbers. Like, okay. That's that's nitpicky thing. Not really for me, so okay. it's not going to appeal to me. Yeah. All right, now we can go to positives. So that's the thing. Uh, I'm also not really one for musicals, and I thought the songs were so fucking funny. Yeah. They fit the tone and style of the scene. Yeah, no, so definitely. It's very like, in your face, and it works. I'm not an evil queen. That song, oh my god. That one was, that was funny. Hilarious. Yeah. That one was great. The song's gonna get stuck in your head, still is. Uh, the one where she sings about she, how she'd rather fuck Superman to get Batman <laughs> That was, that was, yeah. Genius. Um, any part where Batman sings in, any part where in Batman Lego sings. Batman pisses me off and when he did it in this movie i was like eh, again i actually really liked it because all they did was just talk about a how great he is and b his other movies yeah it and being good. really steeped in that world like i'm sure all of us here are it felt like it was speaking my language you yeah know? i just like it's a nitpicky thing for me so i think people might bash this movie for having a con for having a convoluted plot this might just be me but this is one of the few like out there in terms of plot movies that it just clicked for me, like, as they went through it, through the movie, and they, like, explained what happened, I was well, like, that makes sense. It. Yeah. yeah, exactly. That makes sense. Like, I buy that. It is convoluted, but it's easy to understand. Like, like they did season three of Flash with Savitar a little bit, as far as that was, certain characters. That's a whole thing that we don't need to get into right yeah, now, but I know what you mean, right. where it's like, what? Like, even my favorite movies, Inception and Memento, I had to watch both those movies twice before I was like, oh, okay, I get it. This movie, I'm not saying it's Inception levels of uh, complicated, complicated yeah. but, like, Every time they explain something, I was like, that makes sense. That no, works. That, that works. Understand. Wow, that enhanced the story for yeah, me. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense and enhanced the story. There were only like one or two times where I'm like, I don't think I like that. And then immediately something happens. And I was like, never mind. I like that a lot. Us talking about this movie is how we talk sarcastically about a terrible movie. Like, wow, everything made sense perfectly and all the characters were great and all the songs were great. Like, yeah, I feel like I, um, backhanding movies that suck. But this is I actually am a not, movie. I'm actually praising this movie. It's an amazing setup. Right from yeah. right from the genesis. Right from the first moment where mm. Lord Business just goes, work it out yourselves. Like, that entire fight at the beginning of the movie was perfect of, like, siblings bickering and like the the, the sister system monsters being like oh i shoot you with lasers well i'm immune to lasers that is exactly how little kids that was so funny that was so perfect and he throws a battering and it pings off and she's like you, you missed, missed. He's, he's like no i didn't like, oh my yeah. god like it is hilarious perfect. Like, yeah little absolutely. kids fighting playing and then it skips five years and it just keeps getting better yeah honestly 100%. they know how to visualize imagination as a kid yeah. You, when, uh, when the movie shifts between the real world and imagination, it, it gets hilarious. Feels for like one. imagination. It feels like I'm imagining playing with this I toys in my like head. I like how this movie also establishes quote unquote rules for the real world for the mm -hmm. Legos. Yeah. Like, yes, they can move, but it is a lot harder for them to move. Like yes. they have to will themselves to move when they're in the real world. Exactly. When they're not being directly controlled by the kid or his sister, whose name is Bianca. I don't remember what the son's name is. Mm -hmm. Desmond. Is it Desmond? No. We're going to go with Desmond. I, I, I uh, the if name. they're not being moved by Desmond or Bianca. And then, like, it also... Uh, th this is going to be me getting a little weird and political, but it also talks a lot about, like, growing up and kind of, like, that self-image you have in your head of, like, I'm not a kid anymore. I can't be happy. I have to be... How's that political? I, I don't... <laughs> that's not the word. Say, that's not really... <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I I'll... thought you were going to start talking about, like, corporations. I'm like, that was the last that one. No, that was the last <laughs> one. Which was also masked as a story of, hey, spend time with your fucking kids. Yeah. Which was also a great story. And the sequel is spend time with your fucking sister. Like, it's against toxic masculinity. That's it's what against, I mean. It's like, like it's anti-toxic masculinity where it's like, no, it's okay to be... It's okay to have, like, feelings and, and hang out with your little your sister. And, like... Be a good fucking sibling. Yeah. It's not that hard. And that was really also nice. about growing up but staying the same. Yeah, and I really liked that. Because when you grow up, you don't have to lose everything that you were. You just have to build up on it. Yeah. That was really cool. I, I like... I think the 
point of this movie hit harder than the last one. I'm I think so, so glad too. that this year I found a movie that I enjoyed even more than watching Serenity. You hated Serenity. <laughs> oh, I loved watching Serenity. I have to clarify. Serenity is one of the worst movies I've seen. But holy shit, it's so fucking good. But, but yeah. this movie's actually really great and yeah. more enjoyment levels than that anyway. Masterfully crafted. All the voice acting is nice and it's fun and mm-hmm. it's heart and it's just... <laughs> I love Chris Pratt. Having every crate that Tris- that Chris Pratt as an actor has in all of his roles. He's um, he's a cowboy because he was a cowboy man since 7. Yep. He was a raptor trainer in Jurassic Park. Yep. He was... Uh, guardian. He's a space guardian. Space guardian. Almost, dude... When when he that used happened, to have baby fat, which references you know his weight loss. features previously hidden under baby fat. Yeah, I I looked at you and was like, this is the best part of. Also, Ark Yell, just because there was that wild rumor that he was going to be Indiana Jones. Yep, mm-hmm. I absolutely loved social media influencer because that's really what Chris Pratt is. I mm-hmm. think that he, this movie is very masterfully crafted. It's a perfect blend of funny and meaningful. It was amazing. I know I talked last week about, like, oh, uh, How to Train Your Dragons, a uh, movie. This is kids. something I take this my kids to. This is something I'd bring my kids to. This I, is something I'd go to by myself. The first Lego movie was great. I think I gave it, like, an 8 or a 9. Mud, you said yeah. you go to it by yourself. I went to it by myself two days ago. <laughs> <laughs> and I think Grown Lego Batman the uh, like was, like, a 7 or an 8. And this movie is really good. I mean, like... Just... I, I don't know if I have anything else to say other than I... Loved it. Wholesale. Um, have you seen all the Lego movies, Ninjago included? I have not seen Ninjago. I'm, I watched the, Ninjago I'm the only TV one here who's seen things. Ninjago. I have then not seen it. Yeah, I watched the Lego Ninjago TV show. For I watched a the episodes. movie. It's I a watched, weird show. I started watch part one. I uh, got two minutes in, turned it off. Mm. But this movie meant a lot. There was a lot of heartfelt, and this is just sweet. Out of ten, I'm gonna give it the closest to ten you can get in nine. I thought it was great. Usually I have to say I'm giving it a 9 until I've seen it again. I've seen it again. I'm it's, giving it a 10. I'm giving it a 10. I Understandable. It's going to be one of the best movies of the year. If this I was... think this if this does, if this if somehow slips past my top three, I'll be amazed. I know. Uh, as far as Thought best animated yeah. in the Oscars next year, there better be five masterpiece movies animated if this isn't good. Don't forget How to Train Your Dragon is also probably going to be true. up there. I'm okay with both of those going up for a favorite. Yeah, I don't care which one wins. It will get the prestigious honor of being nominated for an Oscar for animation, just like movies such as Jimmy Neutron, Boy Genius, and Shrek, both in the same year. Lego Movie The Second Part, go see it. 